Hi there, it's Lee Polite again from Axion Labs, and today I'm here to answer the question, uh, what's the difference between methanol and acetonitrile? So if you're doing HPLC, uh, you need a mobile phase. The mobile phase pay, plays, of course, a, a key role in the separation. And the mobile phase's job is to dissolve the sample and carry it through the column. Now there's actually a competition for the analytes. The stationary phase tries to hold on to your molecule. The mobile phase tries to pull it off the column. So the mobile phase plays a, a, a pretty important active role in the separation. So essentially in the LC world, we have several choices, but it really comes down to methanol and acetonitrile. The third choice is THF, tetrahydrofuran, not real popular. So most of us out there are using methanol or acetonitrile. A lot of people ask, what's, what's the difference? Well, I'll give you a couple of answers. My first statement is gonna sound a little non-scientific, and that is, eh, they're pretty much the same. Now, they're not the same. They have different chemistries, but they're very similar. So here's the way I put it. If you have something that works with acetonitrile, you got about an 85% chance it's gonna work fine with methanol, and vice versa. If it works with methanol, 85% chance it'll probably work with acetonitrile. So uh, I won't say that, that they're interchangeable because they do have different chemistries. Um, but the statement, my first statement is, um, when you choose one, choose the one that's right for you, that's most convenient for you. If you have nine methods running methanol and you're gonna develop a 10th method, please try methanol. Um, in the grand scheme of things, if, we, if you're really to twist my arm and say which one is better, I'd have to admit acetonitrile is a little better. It's a little stronger solvent uh, than methanol. It's a little cleaner in the UV. You can go all the way down to 190 nanometers with acetonitrile versus 210 with, with methanol. Um, it's a little lower viscosity, requires less pressure. Um, uh, so for those reasons, acetonitrile is a little better than, than methanol, given if price is not an issue, I would choose acetonitrile. But if price is an issue, acetonitrile is more expensive. Now back in 2008, the price of acetonitrile skyrocketed. It never really came all the way back down. So um, you'll notice that in my lab, I usually use methanol. That's my primary choice. Uh, and if it doesn't work, then I will switch to acetonitrile. I like that approach because methanol is cheaper. It's also perceived to be a little less toxic. Um, I'm not sure if that's true. I not, not, don't claim to be a health expert, but, uh, uh, but acetonitrile, the official name for acetonitrile, the IUPAC name is methyl cyanide. So people are a little worried about having giant boxes of methyl cyanide sitting around the lab versus methanol. Uh, from my perspective, they're both poisonous. Don't drink either of them. Don't, don't drink your mobile phase if that's the, the takeaway from this. So methanol, acetonitrile, uh, they're both great. Acetonitrile is slightly better. Methanol is um, a lot cheaper. So my approach nowadays is use methanol, and when it doesn't work, try acetonitrile. It's perfectly valid to take the other approach. Use acetonitrile. If it doesn't work, then try methanol. So I hope that helps sort it out a little bit. If you want to know more information, um, come take one of the classes because we really have to get into the nitty gritty of something we call resolution and how that methanol actually dissolves things versus the acetonitrile. So lots of more fun stuff to learn. Uh, thanks for stopping by.